Hey guys, it's Drea. I'm going to do a new declutter series, but it's not going to be my entire collection. There's a few parts of my collection that I think have gotten a little bit overwhelming and out of control. And I'm just going to do a few starting with single eyeshadows. Um, this is my single eyeshadow drawer right here. And I'm just going to go through it and declutter everything I'm not using. Um, what's in this thing right here? This is from my everyday makeup drawer that I do as a series on my channel. This is the stuff that's been in there this week. This is actually brand new stuff. I say new, some of it is six months old that I haven't used yet. Um, so I'm gonna do this first. So first of all, I know that I'm getting rid of this. This is the ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadow in the shade Hallucigenius. And this thing is completely dried up. And I think I got it in like January. It's completely dried up. As you can see, I'm so disappointed in this product, especially because I gave it as a gift to somebody as well. Um, and the color was absolutely gorgeous when it was new. It doesn't even have that little thing where it tells you the expiry, um, but I'm super disappointed. Actually, that'll probably go in products I regret buying before I actually declutter it. Um, one thing, normally in this section right here is where I have my little mini palettes and I have about 12 of them and I was just looking at them quickly before this video. There's no way I'm getting rid of any of them except for this one. So there wasn't any point in me going through all of them to say oh, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it. This is the only one of those I'm going to get rid of. It's the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air. And this is like supposed to be a dupe for the Modern Renaissance. Well, I have Modern Renaissance. I have a million warm tone palettes. I just don't need this. I also think some of these shades are really good and some of them are absolutely horrid and horrendous. Like some of the formula, like this one for example, is terrible. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Luckily now in my life I have some friends who really appreciate when I pass on makeup to them. So it, it'll be a good thing. I have two Tarte Chrome Paint pots here. Um, I'm gonna keep both of those. I have my Estee Lauder. Victoria Beckham Bitter Clove shade right here. Obviously going to keep that. This is Dior Cosmopolite and I'm going to keep this. It's really pretty. So this stuff like I was saying is new. Um, there's two of the Touch and Soul eyeshadows here that I just got like a week ago and haven't had a chance to use yet so obviously I'm keeping those but the rest of this stuff I've actually had for a long time and for whatever reason have not used it yet and I think I should actually just determine if I want it now because even though it's new I haven't used it this is the Quo 3d cream eyeshadow and this is in the shade this is in the shade toffee and it is really like a nice shade but I don't know if I'm going to use like a, a cream eyeshadow. Normally I would use like a glitter topper like any of the Stila ones. And I just I haven't used this. I bought this around Christmas time and I haven't even used it yet. So I just feel like I should pass it on. I'm just not going to use it. This is a Sephora Colorful Glitter in the shade Lucky Penny. I remember swatching this in the store and the one that had been touched over and over in the store was creamy and gorgeous. And this one I feel like has never kind of got the same effect as that one that I tried out. So I have just kind of always put off using this, but I still want to try, I don't know, I still want to try it. I'm gonna pull this into my Shop My Stash this next go round and like really honestly try it once. I might try it over a sticky base. Um, I have these two ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. I don't even like Super Shock eyeshadows. I just bought these the last the last time I ordered from ColourPop, maybe, um, because they were having buy one get one free. I think it was buy one get one free. Like that's just so kind of lackluster. It looks so much prettier in the pot than it does in a swatch. That is the shade Special Delivery. I'm just gonna pass it on to a friend who I know will enjoy it before it goes bad. And this one's called I Like You. Yeah, I don't even like that color. So I'm going to pass both of those on. Um, and then lastly in here is a BH loose shadow. It's called the Diamond Dazzler. It's in the shade Brilliant. I don't like the packaging on these at all. They're messy, but yet hardly anything comes out of them. So I can't even like get any out because of my nail. I can't get any out to swatch it really. I mean... 
yeah that's just nothing I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass that on to maybe somebody else will have some better luck with that that makes me feel better because I've been looking at those four four things like feeling guilty that I bought them so here this goes back in my everyday makeup drawer now I'm actually going to take these out and do them one at a time that way the camera can focus better this is all my Stila glitters liquid eyeshadows and a couple other glitter products I also have like a backup here of 143 from ColourPop which is my favorite purple of all time um, that obviously isn't going to go anywhere I don't really feel like I need to go through all of these individually because I know all of these Stila glitter glows I am going to keep except for this one which i believe has just gone bad and i'm gonna have to smell it um this is sea siren they they smell like sour milk when they go bad which is really gross yeah this has gone bad unfortunately it's so pretty like i really kind of want to repurchase this but i have too much so i'm not going to but i am going to declutter that um everything else in here actually you know what there is one other one i think i can get rid of is it this one or is it i have a few minis obviously and a few full sizes two of these are highlighters yeah this one three two one these are both highlighters this is Painted Lady and Monarch, so they're not eyeshadows, but I would never use them as highlighters. Or is this the highlighter one? Now I don't remember. Uh, I know this one definitely is. This one is called Monarch. It's just super weird. I tried using it as a highlighter, and I think Stila really missed the mark when they tried to do that because they don't blend at all. So, um, and I did try to use this one as a glitter topper like I would a regular glitter and glow, and it just wasn't working. I don't know if this is focusing. There you go. So you can see that's Monarch, that's Painted Lady. Um, Monarch for sure, because it doesn't work as an eye topper and I don't like it as a highlighter, I'm going to just get rid of that. And then Painted Lady, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it, just because I might use that one as an eyeshadow. Okay, I have, so all the rest of the Stila's are staying. Also, these two from Pixie are both staying. They're absolutely beautiful. I especially like this one. These are called the Fairy Lights. This one is in Pixie Green, and it's really unique. They're a little bit more sheer of a formula than the Glitter and Glow, but the color is so unique, this green. I really love it. So I wish that either Pixie or Stila or whatever would do more unique colors. Um, this one is from BH. It's the Eye Lights in Chill Pill. And this formula is just okay. It's a little bit, I don't know, it just doesn't blend as nicely. Like it's not really a topper, so it takes a little bit more to blend it. I did use this one time so far, but I don't use blue a lot, so. But I'm gonna keep it. This I'm gonna get rid of just because I never, ever, ever use loose glitter, ever. This is a lit glitter, and this is in Modern Love Solid Size 2. Um, I'm actually just gonna give this to my nail lady because she would probably use that for somebody's nails. And then I have this ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed in the shade Avenue of the Stars. This is so gorgeous. I'm wondering now if these are gonna dry out the same way the other thing. This actually feels completely fine. Um, yeah, but still, they, these are just like super chunky glitter. These are not marketed as being eye safe, so I'm not going to advocate that for you guys. Obviously, you have to be careful with what you put on your eyes so that nothing terrible happens to you. But I did use these on my eyes once and it was a pain to get off. So I just don't know how often I'm going to do that, but I am going to keep it. I changed the angle a little bit just so because I don't know how well you're going to see the swatches. Um, this is one of the Touch and Soul Metalist eyeshadows that I've actually used so far. I used it once. So that's staying for sure. Here's another ColourPop Jelly Much uh, eyeshadow. I got this at the same time. I don't know if this one is having the same issues. Like these are really beautiful. But yeah, like this is all hardened now. It's not jelly at all anymore. It's just like hard. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this. These are just gonna have to go in the garbage because it's just a 
Real Shame. This is in the shade Sweet Dreams, which I did only use one time, so that's a huge waste of money. Here is a Laura Geller Trio. I do keep like trios and small palettes in this drawer as well. Um, this is like a highlighter eyeshadow trio. Eye Elements Baked Eyeshadow in Amethyst Skies. Super pretty. That's staying. I have these two Merle Norman shadows. This is the Velvet Orchid and Phenom. And beautiful yeah i think i use the purple more but the burgundy is beautiful as well let's just watch oh yeah this formula man i have glitter all over my hand though really nice formula really beautiful okay i kind of decided in my head i don't know if this is all of them these kat von d shadows these were so freaking much money and they are gorgeous. These are the Metal Crush eyeshadows. Um, even before all the craziness with Kat Von D, I, I didn't really use these. Even though they're beautiful, I just don't use, I don't know. That's a gorgeous color, but I just don't put that like all over my lid. I'm gonna get rid of that one. What did I say what that was? That one was Synergy. This one is Dose. Same thing beautiful but i just don't use that kind of shade all over my lid and then this one those two were so smooth this one is not as smooth but it's still nice raw power this one i don't think is as nice but those two are gorgeous but i'm getting rid of all of those funnily enough i just sat down and i'm having cramps and i'm like I wonder how this is going to affect my attitude when I declutter. So I don't know if it's going to make me more like ready to get rid of stuff, but yeah, not feeling a hundo, a hundo, I'm not feeling a hundo today. Um, okay. These melted chromes from Essence are beautiful. I love both of them. I'm keeping both of them. I'm ready to let go of this. This is the Sephora Colorful Double Reflect in Hidden Treasure. Um, I decluttered this once before and then I couldn't let it go and I grabbed it and I put it back in my collection. And I've since used it maybe once or twice and when I did use it, I didn't really love it. So I am now totally ready to let go of that one. Um, this Smashbox Trio, I don't use it very much, but I think, well, first of all, this is like supposed to be a camera lens, which is cute. Um, I don't really think like this matte shade really does anything with these two glitter, like metallic glitter shades. It just, it's a weird combination, but those two shades are really beautiful. This is, so this is called Panoramic, the Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. I am gonna keep that. I don't use them very much, but I can't get rid of those. Um, this Wet n Wild glitter, I don't know that I've ever actually used this. So this is in Groupie. Pretty sure this is one of those 99 cent eyeshadows. Oh yeah, that's just like loose glitter. No, I don't need that. So that's gonna go. Um, I never use this anymore. This is like harkens back to a time on YouTube for sure. L'Oreal Amber Rush. Uh, my nails are like in the way now. Where I can't really like get into things really beautiful i'm gonna keep it this time i feel like if i don't use it within the next few months that i should get rid of it but i'm gonna keep it this time before you do an eyeshadow or eyeshadow palette declutter or swatch video it's just glitter everywhere okay this one i am ready to let go of this is the rimmel vip pass this makes a really nice um all over the lid like one shadow look but I'm kind of over it. I don't need that. And this one, <laughs> Urban Decay Flash. Honestly, I bought this. I think I've maybe used it twice in like two years. I'm going to pass this on. I know it's purple, but it's just not a purple that I go crazy over. I don't know what it is. I just don't care. Um, this one is from Wet n Wild. It is, what's it called again? Nutty, I think. I don't know why it's not on here but it's called Nutty. And I think this is another one I just don't use. Like, I know this is, again, a cult classic on YouTube, but I just don't use it and I don't really care about it. Um, Laura Mercier Moonlight. I had at one point like three of these and I decluttered all of them. This is still good. It's still creamy. I still really love this color. 
I don't have a ton left. That's all that's left in that. That should probably go in a project pan or something. It was in a project pan at one point. Um, so that, oh, no, that's going in the wrong spot. That will stay. I have these two color pop, um, whatchamacallits, Roy G. Bib and Birthday Wish. I actually think I do like this one. This one reminds me of that Jelly Much shadow that dried up, but, oh yeah. See, some of these are gorgeous. That's a yes. That is a yes. And then this one was like their fourth birthday color called Birthday Wish. And that's okay, but same thing. I'm just, I don't see myself ever using that. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one. Okay, and then I have these two little palettes from LA Girl, the Ilux Mesmerizing palettes. This one I absolutely love. This one is Fantasize, which are like these muted mauvey purples. So nice. This one I bought because I was excited to see these um, harmonize, but it just, I don't know. I just don't love these shades. I just don't care. I just, I had to like force myself to use this. It's pretty, but it's just not the kind of thing that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Oh, it feels so much better. I love decluttering. I declutter my whole life all the time. I just got rid of like seven bags of clothes because I hate when I have too much stuff. And yeah, it's, these are the problems of somebody with a shopping problem, obviously, but um, it just feels good to like get things out. Okay, this is the last bin. I don't have as high hopes for this bin as the last one. There's some stuff I really love in here. Um, okay, let's start with some things I know for sure are staying. So this is Stila Rose Quartz from the Bear with Flare duo thingy. It's beautiful, keeping that. This one is from Lee Swatche. This is in the shade Fireworks, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is like a pressed pigment slash, it's kind of creamy, it's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna need to do something about my nails and pots because I can't get into them anymore. Frosé Chrome Paint, this is beautiful. You, this, if you're gonna get any of the Tarte Chrome Paint shadows, this is the one. It's so gorgeous. It's like this pink with this orangey gold shifting to it. It's stunning. I just hate the tops for these because even when you think you've got it on, it's not. And you have to like fight it for like two minutes. I can let go with this one. This is from the Balm. It's, an, it's called the Overshadow the Sex Pots. And this one is in the shade No Money, No Honey. Um, this is a loose shadow, clearly. It's beautiful. This is more of a highlighter shade. Oh, it's getting messy. And I have used it as a highlighter a few times. Right here. But I never ever use this anymore. I, I used this quite a bit when my channel first started, but I never use it anymore, so that can go. Both of these Lisa gave me, these are from Lisa Watche. This is Aurora and this, no, they're the Aurora iridescent eyeshadows. This one is called Violet. This one is called Teal. Look at this packaging, it's so gorgeous. This one is like a purple, this one is a blue. They have like this blackness, like this black base to them. So they do look better over like a black base when you put them on. Um, I haven't played with them a ton, but I definitely am not getting rid of those. I have these three pigments from the Zodiac ColourPop. I'm not gonna swatch these because the packaging is messy, but these are so beautiful. This one and this one in particular, so the crab and the ram, are amazing. This one I think I could maybe like, if I had to do without wood, but I'm not going to right now. Um, these are amazing, like seriously. Okay, I think I can get rid of this. I have not worn this in over definitely two years. <laughs> This is um, the Indies Galantes from NARS Sarah Moon when that was a thing a few years ago for Christmas. And I do like these, like they're unique and I do like that shade, but this is not the kind of thing I wear very often. You know, I don't go for dark, dark shadows like that and I just never reach for it. Marc Jacobs Glamethyst, 
I can probably take this out of the packaging at this point. This is the purple one from the sequins. This one is uh, from the sequins in Copperazzi. These are fairly new, beautiful, love these. Those are staying. This is the Ombre Souffle Supreme from Les Bloche in Ver Enchant. This one is so gorgeous. It's like this, I don't know, it's like this putty type bounciness to it. Again, I can't get my finger in here anymore. It does have a little like uh, sponge applicator. It's so, it's got this green, like ivy kind of shade to it. I don't know. I love this so much. Yeah, I need sponge applicators now because I can't get my nails and things. All right, this Kaja Trio, this is the one in toasted caramel. I don't know that I'm as crazy for these as some people are, but I do like it. Um, these are very shimmery shades and they work really nicely for like all over the lid, but all three together, like you can't really use them together all over the lid, but those ones, those two shades in particular, I really, really like. Okay. I have, oh shoot. This is something that was out of a Buxom palette and I don't have anywhere for it. And it's kind of just lying around in this collection and I do love it. It's a gorgeous color. That's so pretty and I never wear it. This is called Patent Leather. It's so pretty, I need to wear this. I'm gonna keep that, obviously. Stud from NARS. If you got one NARS shade ever, this is it, get this one. Stud is just amazing. Taupe, shiny taupeness. So, so pretty. So that's staying. The two are Money Eyes to Kill in one is champagne i can't remember what the name of this one is i feel like i almost want to get rid of this one just because it's that kind of shade of gold that i don't really go for anymore but i kind of don't know if i'm ready to get rid of this yet that's the number five anyway regardless what the name is um no i'm just gonna keep it for now i just we'll see if i don't use this in the next six months <laughs> Then I'll get rid of it. But for now, I'm, I'm keeping it. This is actually an eyeliner from Tarte. It's the um, Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner in the shade Lucky Penny. And this one is just like a really coppery, like creamy thing. And it's still very, very creamy. Look at that. It's really nice to kind of use as a base for things. So that's why I keep it around. I don't use it very much, but I'm, there's no reason to get rid of it. Um, I don't ever use it as a liner, but anyway, it's dying. And I got two left. Oh shoot, I forgot I even have this. Nars Persia. I decluttered this at one point and grabbed it back because I couldn't bear to let it, let it go. But at this point, I'm going to let it go because I never use it ever, ever. And one time that I did use it, I kind of realized that this shade is in so many warm palettes now. Like at one point, I think it was really, really unique, but it's not anymore. And I have this shade in palettes. So if I was going to use a warm tone palette, it would probably have this shade or something very similar. So I'm ready to let that one go now. And then lastly is Steal a Kitten, which I don't use very much, but I'm not going to let go of I'm going to keep that. Here's how this drawer looks now. Here is all the stuff that I decluttered. So I decluttered 23 eyeshadow products that are now going to be passed on. Um, this is how this looks. I, instead of squeezing all of my like mini palettes in here, I need to find another home for them because I can't get them in and out of here easily anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is just see these bigger ones. I've just kind of laid them out like this and that leaves more room for like the things that are in my everyday makeup drawer if I need to put them in here as well. So I kind of like the way this looks a little bit better as well. So that is it for this declutter. I hope you liked it. Like I said, there's gonna be a few more, not my whole collection, but a few more coming. So subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.